Hi everybody, welcome to Advanced English class. Uh, today's lesson is second chapter, Advanced English, Fixing and Cancelling Appointments. So from this lesson, after completing, you will be able to learn how to fix appointments, how to reschedule and cancel appointments. And also, why should we fix, why should we reschedule and cancel appointments? What are the benefits? Why should we fix appointment? Before that, just here is one activity, pre-activity. You want to take to take your mother to a very busy doctor. What will you do? Ensure that you meet the doctor on that day you want. The doctor is very busy. Generally, uh, visitors, patients will be there more than 200. Generally, we take appointment. That means we give the name well in advance and uh, we get the time, approximate time, approximate uh, uh, data uh, at, at what time, morning, afternoon, or evening, at what time generally we ask the attendant. So here is one activity one. Read the following conversation pieces and identify the phrases used to fix and cancel appointments. First, receptionist. Hello, Edgewald, Hyderabad. Kiran. Good morning. I am Kiran, a student of Diploma in Mechanical Engineering. Receptionist. Yes. How may I help you? Kiran, I want an appointment with the MD, Managing Director. Receptionist, what for? Kiran, I need to talk to him about the prospects of doing BTEC in Russia. Receptionist, when do you want to meet him? Kiran, will you please fix an appointment at 5 p.m. tomorrow? Receptionist, 5 p.m. tomorrow? You have the appointment, Mr. Kiran. Kiran, thank you. Receptionist, you are welcome. And again, a receptionist. Hello, Edgewall, Hyderabad. Kiran. Good evening. I am Kiran. I have an appointment with the MD at 5 p.m. today. I am sorry to say that I cannot be there by 5 p.m. as I am not feeling well. Receptionist. Do you want me to cancel the appointment? Kiran. Yes. I want you to cancel the appointment today and will it be possible to fix that appointment next week? Receptionist. Yes, it is possible. You can meet the MD at 10 a.m. on Monday. Kiran. Thank you. Receptionist. Welcome. From these two conversations, have you observed anything? Yes, in the first conversation, we observed that the person Kiran took an appointment at Eduvold. He discussed with the receptionist and fixed an appointment. In the second one, again Kiran cancelled his appointment due to his personal ill health reason of ill health and also rescheduled next week. So here what we need to do is what kind of expressions 
Kiran used and the receptionist used to fix an appointment, to cancel appointment, to reschedule appointment. We have to identify them. See here. Kiran. I want an appointment with the MD. Next. Will you please fix an appointment at 5 p.m. tomorrow? Reception. You have the appointment, Mr. Kiran. So these are the expressions generally we use. Next, for cancelling and rescheduling. I'm sorry to say that I cannot be there by 5 p.m. as I'm not feeling well. I want you to cancel the appointment today and will it be possible to fix an appointment next week in that way okay now the question is why should we fix an appointment why should we reschedule appointment why should we cancel appointment is it compulsory so to that answer to that question we answer that there is an increased trend of fixing appointment both in personal and business matters fixing appointments in advance and adherence to it both by host and visitor is a good practice it helps to avoid disappointments of host being not there avoid delays as the host is busy with others and also take into account the convenience of both the parties that means why should we take appointment this means to avoid disappointments of host or the guest suppose you want to meet your friend tomorrow at 10 a.m. So you when uh, you go at that time, but your friend is not there, you will be disappointed. Instead of disappointing, well in advance, if you call him and say, I am coming tomorrow, then he will be there at 10 o'clock and also you said i'm coming tomorrow at 10 a.m but suddenly unfortunately your friend has one more work is busy at that time if he doesn't inform you well in advance you go there but what happens he may not spare the time to you so to avoid this kind of disappointments delays so taking appointment fixing appointment sometimes if it is not possible rescheduling appointment if it is not at all possible Cancelling appointment is well and good. So while taking appointment, while fixing appointment or rescheduling appointment or cancelling appointment, how we have to speak? That is very important. One should be polite while making or cancelling appointments. One should inform well in advance and give reasons to reschedule or cancel the appointments. Remember to sound natural, clear and loud if it is a phone. If you are fixing or cancelling or rescheduling appointment through mobile, so you have to sound natural your sound will be 
and use commonly used words. Avoid using speakers' names. Include some actions such as suppose if you meet directly. Uh, include some actions such as handshake, bowing, smiling, etc. Use short sentences. Should not be dominating. Should not end abruptly. Okay. Here are some moral expressions to fix an appointment. While fixing an appointment, what kind of expressions generally we use? These are the some moral expressions. We can use any one of them. How about meeting on 30th of August? Will you be free on 17th of this month? How does the 3rd of June sound? Shall we say Monday? Can I meet the senior engineer tomorrow? Would Friday be convenient to you? Could you please fix an appointment? I would like to meet the vice chancellor for like that. These are some moral expressions. We can use any one. You are free to use. So here are some situations. In these situations, you have to fix appointment. You have to take appointment. So here is one important point while fixing appointment or rescheduling appointment or cancelling appointment. You should not write in a single sentence all this. You have to write in a conversation form, dialogue form. So you get five marks questions, three marks questions from this lesson. If the question is from one, one mark Part. That means if it is a one mark question, you can write a simply single sentence. Please fix an appointment. Please cancel appointment or please reschedule the appointment in a single sentence form. But if it is a three mark question or five mark question, you have to write complete dialogues. Both the persons that means with whom are you fixing appointment. Right. First one. Request the receptionist to fix an appointment to meet the municipal commissioner at 4 p.m. to register a complaint about irregular supply of drinking water. So how do you fix? Okay, you try to fix appointment. You try to write your, uh, your own sentences, but uh, for model, for understanding, purpose I give you one model upon expression sentences suppose two persons one is Radha other one is receptionist receptionist from municipal office municipal commissioner office first Radha hello good morning I am Radha a resident of LB Nagar. This is Mr. Good morning. How may I help you? Radha. I want to fix an appointment with the municipal commissioner. Or I want to meet the municipal commissioner. Next, receptionist. Why do you need an appointment? Radha, I want to register a complaint or I want to complain, give a complaint about irregular supply, supply of drinking water in our area. Receptionist, 
When do you want to meet him? Radha, please fix an appointment at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Receptionist, tomorrow 4 p.m. would be fine. Okay. You have the appointment with the municipal commissioner. Radha, thank you. Receptionist, you are welcome. So this is model conversation. You can write in a different manner. That's also right. Next, request the receptionist to fix an appointment with the neurologist for a chronic problem. So you can write your model, con your model conversation, but for your understanding purpose, I will give one model conversation. Uh, suppose two persons, one is receptionist, another one is named Williams. First Williams. Hello, good morning. I am Williams. Receptionist, good morning. How may I help you? Williams. I need to fix an appointment with the neurologist. Receptionist, when do you need an appointment? Williams, I need an appointment as early as possible. Can you make it tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Receptionist, I'm sorry, all slots are filled up to 4 p.m. tomorrow. Williams, then please fix an appointment for 5 p.m. tomorrow. Receptionist, tomorrow 5 p.m. would be fine. You have the appointment with the doctor. Williams, thank you. Receptionist, you are welcome. So this is the manner of fixing an appointment with the doctor. So this question might be Five mass question or three mass question in examination point of view. Next activity. Write dialogues for the following situations. Each one can be the caller in one situation. This is a one kind of activity in the classroom. Pair work, two persons. But here we are. Uh, taking the class online. First one. Request the receptionist to reschedule the appointment with the surgeon as you are out of the town. If you observe the question, here the question is request the receptionist to reschedule before we took appointment. We fixed appointment with the surgeon or any municipal commissioner. We have written. We discussed. But here, this activity asking you to reschedule the appointment. That means you have already taken the appointment. You have the appointment with that so called person. So now, because of the reasons, some reasons, here the reason also mentioned as you are out of town. You are not there. So how to reschedule? You can write. But for your understanding purpose, I will give you model conversation. Suppose, Pooja and receptionist. Pooja. Hello, good morning. I am Pooja. Receptionist. Good morning. How may I help you? Pooja. I have an appointment with the doctor tomorrow at 9 a.m. I want to reschedule it as I am out of the town for three days. Receptionist, when do you want to reschedule the appointment? 
puja. Can you make it on Thursday, 10 a.m.? Receptionist. Thursday, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. would be fine. You have the appointment with the doctor. Puja, thank you. Receptionist, welcome. So here, what I ask you to observe how they are talking, how they are speaking, what kind of expressions, words they are using to uh, in the fixing appointment or cancer or rescheduling appointment. That means first thing when you begin to write or when you begin to speak, you have to greet them. You have to greet each other. So that means if you are the first person, hello, good morning, and you have to introduce yourself. I am Pooja, I am Williams, I am Radha. You have to introduce, you have to say your name. Next, in the conversation of uh, receptionist, receptionist must say, how may I help you? How can I help you? Please understand. How may I help you? You have to use this kind of expression. And uh, while uh, taking appointment, I need appointment. I need to fix an appointment. I want to meet like that. You have to use the expressions. And also you have to give the particular time or a date at what time uh, and what date you want to meet him. After that, if your uh, appointment is fixed, the receptionist must say your appointment is fixed. You have the, that means you have the appointment with the doctor, you have the appointment with the municipal commissioner. In rescheduling also, you can say you have the appointment with the doctor in that way. These expressions more are very important. You have to use them in the conversation. And after written convert, that means appointment or rescheduling appointment, at the end, you must say thank you. And in the receptionist part, you have to write welcome. You are welcome. So, you have to identify these kind of expressions from moral conversations and use the same in your conversations or dialogues. Next, due to bad weather, you cannot practice cricket at Gymkhana ground. Request the coach to re reschedule the appointment for today's practice. So, you can write for your understanding sake. I explain. Suppose Nitin and coach. First Nitin. Hello, good morning, sir. I am Nitin. Coach, good morning. How may I help you? Nitin. Sir, we have a practice session today at a Gymkhana ground. Unfortunately, there is a strong wind blowing, which will affect our practice. Next, coach. So, what do you want me to do? Nathan, can you cancel today's session? Can you cancel today's session and arrange it on Tuesday 10 a.m.? Coach, Tuesday 10 a.m. would be fine. You have the coaching session, this can do. Nathan, thank you, sir. Coach, welcome. See, here the uh, problem request uh, due to bad weather. So he had mentioned, there is a strong wind blowing. Then the coach asked, what, uh, what shall I do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? 
So he said to cancel the appointment. Today's can appointment. Can you cancel today's session and arrange it on Tuesday, 10 a.m. in that way? Right. Activity 4. First one. Your boss wants you to go to Vijaywada to inspect the branch office there. Tell your friend that you cannot accept his invitation for dinner. That means as you are going to Vijaywada, suddenly or just before, before uh, fixing Vijaywada tour, your friend invited for dinner. So suddenly you are going to Vijayawada or as you are going to Vijayawada, in meantime, your friend called you and said, please come to dinner. So what you have to do is tell your friend that you cannot accept his invitation for dinner. How can you say? It must be polite, not rude. Okay. So you can write. I will give you some model conversation. Suppose Dev and Sai. Dev. Hello, Sai. Sai. Hello, Dev. Dev. How are you? Sai, I am fine. How are you doing? Dev, I am doing fine. My boss has instructed me to visit Vijayawada to inspect the branch office this Thursday. I want to inform you that unfortunately I cannot accept your dinner invitation. Sai, I can understand it. Can you make it on Saturday? Dev, Saturday would be fine. Sai, make sure that you are available. Thank you. Right. Next. You cannot meet the teacher as you have to take your grandmother to hospital. How can you write this conversation? Okay, write your own conversation. I'll just explain model. Suppose Pooja and the receptionist. Pooja. Hello, good morning. Receptionist. Hello, good morning. Pooja. I am Pooja, a third year student studying electrical engineering. Receptionist. How can I help you? Pooja. I have an appointment with the senior teacher tomorrow at 10 a.m. I want to inform you that, unfortunately, I cannot meet my teacher as I have to accompany my grandmother to the hospital tomorrow. Receptionist, do you want me to reschedule it? Pooja, yes, please. Can you make it on Wednesday at 10 a.m.? Receptionist, Wednesday would be fine. Pooja, thank you. So don't think otherwise. Is there any reception in the college? Okay. You can directly call the teacher and ask permission to reschedule appointment or cancel appointment. Suppose same take Pooja and the teacher. Good morning, teacher. Teacher. Good morning. Next, Pooja. I am Pooja, third year uh, electrical student. Next, teacher. How may I help you? Pooja. Actually, I have taken appointment with uh, 
today at uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m but unfortunately I cannot meet you here as I have to accompany my grandmother to the hospital tomorrow. Teacher, do you want me, do you want to meet me uh, next day, some other day? Pooja, yes, please. Can we may, make it on Wednesday, Wednesday at 10 a.m.? Receptionist, uh, as that means uh, teacher. Wednesday would be fine. Puja, thank you. In that way. So, some common errors while fixing or cancelling or rescheduling appointments. We will meet tomorrow, will we? Here, this is a question tag. If there is no negative word in the sent statement, we have to add it in the tag. If there is any negative word not in the statement, we have to remove it in the tag. So here we will meet tomorrow. There is no negativity. So we have to write it. Won't we? You met the manager yesterday. Did you? Same. There is no not. You met the manager yesterday, didn't you? Okay, right. Some tips. Make a note of your appointments in your diary or planner and keep it handy. That means maybe you forget. Sometimes you give appointments to some other person and you forget and you go some other somewhere and you meet, uh, you again give the same time to other, some other person appointment so you have to make note of your appointments in your diary or planner and keep it handy that means the diary must be uh, available to you be polite and mention the reason when you fix or reschedule or cancel an appointment politeness is very important and inform very in advance to reschedule or cancel the appointment Rescheduling or cancelling, whatever it may be, you have to give information well in advance, not at that time or not after the scheduled time. So here is one assignment. Write a dialogue to uh, that takes place to fix an appointment with the deputy engineer, AP at Telangana, Transco, to ask his permission to visit the substation. You have to write it on your own. So all these activities are very important in your examination point of view. Practice them. Write all the assignments and activities in your notebook. Maintain one separate notebook, five notes. Uh, if you have any doubts, please repeat the lesson once again. Listen once again. And when we meet in the live class, you can ask me. I will clarify the doubts. With this, I end the session. Thank you.